Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to tackle this arithmetic progression, or sometimes we call it arithmetic sequence problem, in a really short and easy way. And here is our, our arithmetic progression problem. For an arithmetic progression, if a sub 3 equals to 5 and a sub 7 equal to 9, find the arithmetic progression. In other words, third term is 5 and the seventh term is 9, find the arithmetic sequence. So what has been given to us is the third a sub 3 equals to 5 and also a sub 7 equal to 9 and we want to figure out the arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression to figure out that one we need two things first of all we need to find out the common difference d and also we need to find out the first term a and in the very first step we are going to find the common difference d equals to how much the very first thing that we have been given to us is a sub 3 equals to 5 and a of 7 equal to 9 from here. As you can see, this has been given to us. And we will be using this really simple formula. It simply states if a of m equal to s and a of n equals to t, then the common difference d is the ratio of their differences. What that means in our case is we can see we want to find the common difference d equals to on the top is going to be these are our s and t let's go ahead and put it down that one i'm going to write down five minus nine and at the same time over here as we can see our these numbers subscripts three and seven I am going to write down at the denominator 3 minus 7. Let's simplify this one. So d equals to 5 minus 9 is negative 4 over negative 4. So that means d turns out to be simply positive 1. And here in our second step, we are going to find the first term a sub 1. For that one, we need to pick one of these two numbers, either this one or these one that is given to us. I'm going to pick the easiest one that is going to be picked the easier one. a sub 3 equals to 5. That tells me that the the subscript over here is 3 that tells me that our n term n equals to 3 and now we will be using this arithmetic progression formula let me write it down a of n equal to a of 1 plus n minus 1 times d and in our case as you can see this a of n equals to a of 3 right up here so i can write a of 3 equal to we want to figure out a of 1 just leave it there and we know n is 3 3 minus 1 times d in our previous step we figured out 1 and we know that uh, this a of 3 equals to 5 so i'm going to replace it that thing i'm going to say 5 equal to a sub 1 plus 3 minus 1 is going to be a 2 times 1 that is going to give us 5 equal to a plus a 1 a sub 1 plus 2 let's move this 2 on the other side so that means a sub 1 is going to be simply 5 minus 2. That means a sub 1 is going to be 3. That is our first 
factor. And in our next step, step number three, we are finally going to find the arithmetic sequence. And we know that our a sub one, the very first term we figured out from the previous steps is three and the common difference d equals to one. So I can write three as the first term. And then as we add this common difference, d equals to one means positive one we're going to add so this is going to make four and then we're going to add plus one once again makes five add plus one again makes six on and on so thus our arithmetic progression turns out to be three four five six and seven and that is our answer this goes on and on Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.